Hey guys, welcome back. This is Edmund from GFXComma.com, and today I found this super clean looking uh, silver metal, and I was just really interested, and I felt like, you know, making this. So, um, yeah, I just think this is super clean looking. If we make it smaller, this quality is a bit better. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm gonna go for a new layer and run it rectangle tool, uh, radius. Maybe like 55, we will have to mess with this a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, I'm gonna select a color first. And then we go new layer, mask, use my brush tool. Just gonna go for something like this right here. And then something at the top. Like so, overlay. Duplicate this a few times, and then um, right here we we'll try bevel and boss. Let's go like this. Let's turn up the opacity for. In a shadow, just for an extra layer, like here. As you can see, I like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right. So we will have this right here. Okay, that's cool. Let's keep it like that. And now let's go ahead and group this up. I'm just gonna copy and take like this and copy again. I want to make this smaller. So like this for this little part. Uh, let's try to match this. There we go. This will go right here. And we're just gonna change the color. So let's go for this dark little color. And we're going to have to adjust these settings here. Let's go 90. That was super nice. Uh, let's go drop shadow this time. Let's go 90. Actually, negative, negative 90. Let's go color white. This a little bit. Here we go. All right, so this is what we have so far. Let me show you guys. Uh, looking pretty good. <laughs> looking pretty good, if you ask me. Um, next, what should we? What should we make next? We can make this part. This should not be too difficult. Let me try to figure out how I'm gonna make this. Probably gonna do one section. This is a different part, and this. Okay, I think I got it. All right, so new layer. I'm going to go ahead and make this part first. So, I mean, let's do half. So we can just copy and flip it over, like like so. I'm not. Uh, Save this for backup. But for this one, let's see. Okay. Let's see how we're gonna make this. Um hmm. these two parts, the middle part is in different uh, shade. First of all, let's merge these two. And then I think I'm gonna take rectangle tool. Go ahead and just do this. Just halfway, doesn't really matter. fine to me, I'm gonna copy and select this color now. This is going to be right here, like that. The color black, we're just gonna go right here. Okay. So up here, I'm gonna take our color white. I'm just gonna go across, uh, lower the opacity actually. And let's just go across. Let's go overlay.
Okay, so I'm gonna take this. And obviously this will go right here, and then we're just gonna go across. So this is what we have. It looks pretty good. Uh, it's pretty accurate so far. Next, let's make that little, little shape. Okay, this will go here and obviously go above. Let's make sure it matches. Perfect. That looks great. That, that looks uh, pretty pretty good if you ask me. So if you look side by side, this is what we have. Um, this part could look a bit more, I guess, into the little slit here. So I'm just, I think I'm gonna use my brush tool. I'm just gonna paint like up here, like this. As you can see, there we go. Let's go soft light, copy. There we go. That's pretty good. Now, I think I'm gonna make this part right here. Uh, it should be pretty simple. Okay, next let's make uh, this giant circle. Uh, let me figure out how I should make this, actually. Okay, so we have a the smaller circle, we have the inside, middle, and then outer circle. Okay, I think this is fine. Uh, I'm just gonna, I gotta mess with this though. Right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this. Let's make uh, this inside part, so let's go ahead.
Okay, I think this is good. And finally, we have to make this thing. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> So yeah, if this video was helpful and informative, make sure you guys leave a like. And if you guys want me to include this in our store, or I guess if you guys just want me to um, include the files of each finished icon or UI that I make in tutorials, I don't know if I should make it free or add like a tiny little price, but uh, either way, just leave a comment. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next